Hey there Hunters and welcome back to the Gunners Guild. Today I'm going to briefly cover the current bowgun sets I have for entry level and the min max endgame sets for gunning here in Sunbreak. I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible because we all know why we're here, we just want the sets, so let's just dive into this. Starting off with the entry level sets for raw bowguns. These are sets meant to be used once you finish a story boss and you're starting your grind. Maybe you don't have a crazy charm, so everything is made with a wex 2, 4, and 1 slot charm which I think I almost used a level 2 slot in the place there, so it's pretty much a Wex 2, 2, 1 should be just fine. So starting with the Light Bowgun side, we're going to be using the boss's Light Bowgun for all our standard shooting options. Normal 3, Spread 3, Pierce 3. This Bowgun is absolutely insane and will serve you just fine. All the sets here are pretty similar, typically changing the gloves from Spread to Pierce to Normals, whatever. The main difference between these and the fully min-max sets are going to be that the min-max ones are going to have attack 7 rather than attack 4, and that's pretty much it. So the difference is going to be like 20 raw or something like that. It's nothing crazy. I'm going to be posting the min-max versions after the entry level ones, so you can just kind of see the differences there. Also, the final upgrades of most of the bow guns are pretty much just 10 raw upgrades, so you don't have to get max level bow guns before you can make these sets. They work at like rare 9 just fine. The other light bowgun setup you need to worry about is the rapid fire pierce 2s, which are kind of king right now. You do have some bowgun choices like Nargakuga, Malzino, and Shigaru Magala. I prefer Malzino's over Shigaru. Yes, the extra crit on Shigaru's is nice, but they're all going to end up on similar damage anyways. Malzino's can get 100% crit just the same as Shigaru can, and Malzino's does have more raw. It also has walk to reload, which is nice, and has an extra clip in the chamber, as well as a level 4 slot, which makes making these sets a lot easier. Shigaru just has the level 2 rampage deco, which at best is worth about 5% damage with the specific wyvern decorations, which may be one more damage per tick if the numbers round up, that's a big if, and that's also subject to change based on monsters hit zones, your raw value, quest modifiers, and all that stuff. So for the most part, I'm going with Malzino's. Rapid Fire Spread 2s are cool, and you can use Espinos Light Bogan for that if you want, but Spread 3s are better, so there's not really much of a point to use Rapid Fire 2s unfortunately. We will be using Critical Firepower for Normals and Rapid Fire MOs if we're going that route, but Standard Marksman for Spread 3 and Pierce 3. Countermines of course for all your sets, do make sure you're using the appropriate levels of recoil and reload for your sets as well. For the raw side of heavy bowguns, we can use the exact same sets as the light bowgun as the light bowgun didn't have any slots and so all these bowguns that have slots just make making the set easier, so yeah, it's just better. You don't need normal heavy bowgun because even with the increased fire rate of heavy bowgun, it's still weaker than light bowguns running critical firepower for normal threes, so we're not running a normal heavy bowgun. For spread heavy bowgun, I'm going with Tetranodon's heavy bowgun, it has higher raw than Magdamalos for some reason, and has a level 2 slot for deco and rampage decos. It can walk and shoot and walk and reload, while Magdamalos cannot walk and reload. Grand Golem's heavy bowgun is also very nice for spreads, but its reload speed is super poor and cannot get fastest reload, and you pair that with stationary reload on your spreads and you do have a lot of vulnerability time during your reloads, which is kind of scary. Pierce Heavy Bowgun was a toss up between Berioth, Malzinos, and Magnamalos, but I went with Magnamalos. It has better slots, better raw, and a level 2 rampage deco for that extra damage. The only downside to it is that it cannot walk and reload, which actually isn't terrible for Pierce Heavy Bowgun because you're going to be pretty far back most of the time anyway. But you can use Berioths if you want the extra crit, or Malzinos if you want the walk to reload. It's your choice really, they should all be about the same and make the same sets for the most part. Don't worry about Charge or Siege, they're both pretty awful, but Charge does have more uses than Siege for sure. Setting Sun can be great for Pierce and Elemental Pierce, but keep Wirebug Slide on spreads 100%. Moving on to Elemental Bowgunning, it's definitely more of a min-max endeavor as it's very niche in general and it's going to be much harder to play than raw gunning. So no entry level sets here. I do need to publish the Elemental Bowgun video, but at the same time, it's everything that applies from base game as it does in Sunbreak, we're going to be stacking raw because that's the best way to scale element for some reason, and we're pretty much just going to be running the exact same bowguns as we were before. So all the sets are going to be exactly the same too. We're going to be running four pieces of Arcfiend, which is the last boss armor for Dereliction to buff our raw, and one piece of Sinister Magnamalo for the 15 points of raw for the one piece as they apply to the same orange scroll. It's just a lot of raw stacking. Then we're going to add our Attack 7, our Free Resentment, and then your choice of Element and you're done. All the bowguns need to run Element Bane, which is the new decoration for Elemental Exploit, the Rampage skill. It buffs your Elemental damage based on the Elemental weak spots. I think it got nerfed, but it's still really good. We also won't be using any dragon ammo as it has very few craftables and it's more of a meme and niche thing anyway, but all the other four elements are totally viable. Pierce Elemental is far superior to standard Elemental ammo, but if you want to get into Elemental Gunning, please check out that video I had mentioned. 
It basically covers all the math behind it. Don't use rapid fire elemental pierce, it's a trap. But anyway, onto the bow guns. For fire element, light blowgun is going to be using Rathalos again as it has both fire pierce and standard fire on rapid fire, plus it has the slot for elemental exploit. Rachnagodaki is going to be our choice for heavy blowgun since it has high crit and we can slap on crit element pretty easily to get a hair bit more damage over pure raw. And well, all blowguns are going to be running elemental exploit, so keep that in mind, it's the main reason why we're picking one blowgun over the other. For water element, light blowgun is sticking with a Maldrin, that clip 5 water pierce is just kind of crazy. For heavy bowgun, we're going to run with Dymo Hermitor, the red crab bowgun. Sadly, it has no water ammo backup, and this one's just better than Mizu, so we don't really have very many good options for water anyway. For thunder element, light bowgun is sticking to Kizu, which unfortunately has low raw, because sadly, Narwa and all the other light bowguns for thunder run rapid fire elemental pierce, which is the trap and never going to be used. For heavy bowgun, as you may have seen already, Narwa is going to be our go to there. And lastly, for ice, light bogans didn't really get any other options here, but the Deora light bogan is better here in Sunbreak than it was in Base Rise. Clip 3 for ice pierce is pretty good at least, and sadly, the no slots is going to hurt its set making potential and its raw. Heavy Bowgun is also going to be running Deora only because it can actually use the elemental exploit while Baryoths cannot. Baryoths Heavy Bowgun is a better Bowgun stat wise, but unfortunately, the elemental damage from elemental exploit is going to slightly edge Deora out over Baryoth. Alright, so that's all the bowgun sets I have for now. I will update them when we get a title update, but for now, this should be fine. Working set in stone. It might not be 100% min max of the absolute possibility, but trust me, they're good. Uh, I'm going to be tweaking sets as I play with them, you know, find out what actually works in practice and all that stuff, and I will do updates as, you know, I find out more information. But this is what we got for now. So thank you all for watching. Good luck out there, hunters. Peace, have fun, see ya.